Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com. My name is Rick Utzler and I'm very glad that you can join us again today. Some of my earliest reviews were of a clone of this rifle and that was the BAM B40. I can tell you today that there is no substitute for the real thing. I've been looking forward to this review for over two years now. The rifle I'm talking about, of course, is the Air Arms TX200. This model of the TX200 came with the beech stock and it's set up for right-handed shooters. They do have a left-handed stock and they also have the option of using a walnut stock. This particular model retails for about $569 from Pyramid Air. To the base TX200, I added the Leapers 4 to 16 by 56 SWAT scope with a 30 millimeter tube. I also added the UTG high 30 millimeter mounts. Now this entire package comes in at right around $769. And I know that is on the very high end of things for an air gun, but I have to tell you, this thing is a work of art. Let's go ahead and take a good close up look at this rifle. As you can see, the Air Arms TX200 is no ordinary air gun. It is high polished precision. This rifle is, in a word, elegant. From its fully shrouded barrel to the beautiful beech wood stock, I've not met its equal. The metalwork is truly heirloom quality. I'll be able to hand this down to future generations. The TX200 comes in both right and left handed configurations, and you can also choose a walnut stock rather than the beech wood stock. There are some price differences between configurations, so please visit Pyramid Air for those details. The TX200 is a little on the heavy side for me, but I'm willing to overlook that. My wife keeps telling me I need to work out anyway, so now we both win. The rifle is an under lever cocking rifle, rather than the standard brake barrel design. This plays a role with accuracy as the barrel stays in one place and is not moving between each shot. Cocking the rifle is fairly easy at about 29 pounds. Once the rifle is cocked, you load your pellet into the breech through the loading port. To return the lever, you must press the anti-bear trap release, which is located to the right and just behind the loading port. There are no open sights on this rifle. The TX200's receiver is set to receive any standard 11mm dovetail scope mount, and there are holes in the back for stop pins that help prevent scope slippage. For this review, I chose one of the nicest Leaper scopes, the 4-16 by 56 SWAT scope, with a two-piece 30mm high clearance set of rings. The large objective and larger tube diameter allows more light and clearer shot pictures than their smaller cousins. 16x magnification at 20 yards was very easy to use, unlike other scopes that I've tested. I thought the Beeman R9 trigger was about as good as it gets. Well, the TX200's trigger is even better. Lighter and even more crisp than the record trigger in the R9, it makes shooting tight groups that much easier. The TX200 has an automatic safety that cannot be easily reset after it is set to fire. The TX200 is truly a work of air gun art and precision. Let's talk a little bit about performance. The TX200 on the website says it's supposed to shoot about 930 feet per second. Well, this particular model did much better. The seven grain hobbies shot a high of 1047 feet per second, a low of 1023 feet per second, an average of 1035 feet per second, with an extreme spread of 24 feet per second, and the standard deviation of seven feet per second. That equates to 16.65 foot-pounds. The best pellet we found for this rifle turned out to be the Crossman Premier Hollow Points. Now that was a surprise and I went through every pellet in the box and of course that was the last one I picked because surely the Crossmans weren't going to shoot the best. But they did turn out to be the best, delivering sub quarter inch groups at 20 yards. They shot at a high of 983 feet per second, a low of 969 feet per second, an average of 979 feet per second with an extreme spread of 14 feet per second and the standard deviation of only 4 feet per second. That equates 
to 16.82 foot-pounds. All in all, uh, this gun did exceptionally well. It, it exceeded the manufacturer's velocities and it was very, very accurate. Let's take a look at some of these groups. Well, those shock groups really just speak for themselves. The TX-200 is an outstanding air rifle. It is accurate, it is powerful, and no wonder it is the winningest gun in field target competitions. I know it's very expensive, there's no way to get around that, but it's absolutely amazing how well this gun is put together. It's absolutely beautiful, and it is a little on the heavy side as far as I'm concerned, but I don't care. I actually bought this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you're serious about air guns and you're serious about the sport, you definitely have to get your hands on a TX200 and at least try one out to know for yourself just how good they can be. So what's my final take on the TX200? Well, I think I've pretty much already said it. It's definitely one of the nicest air guns I have ever shot. By far, it's the nicest spring gun I've ever shot. It's extremely accurate. And once I found the right pellet, the consistency in that accuracy was there every single time. A lot of rifles, it's kind of tough. If you change your hold a little bit or you, you change anything, your accuracy can be all over the place. You'll get that occasional really excellent group. But for the most part, you're, you're sort of chasing that sweet spot. You don't have that with the TX200. Maybe it's the weight of the rifle. Maybe it's just the way... I, I hold it or just the way it suits me, but I was able to get exceptionally good groups with this gun um, very, very consistently. And that's something that really made this uh, worth the purchase as far as I'm concerned. It's not for everybody. It definitely has a high price point, but there isn't a single thing that I found about this gun that I don't like other than the fact that it's very, very heavy and you can get tired if you're going to shoot it all day. But other than that, this is definitely one that you're going to want to put uh, in your gun rack if you're serious about air guns. I want to take a moment to thank the guys at Pyramid Air for providing this product for review and all the supplies. When you're looking for your next air gun or your next batch of supplies, be sure to remember the folks at PyramidAir.com. www.pyramidair.com. They've taken great care of me, and I know they'll take great care of you. Until next time... My name is Rick Utsler with airgunweb.com.